In this video, we are going to discuss about input from binary files. We are going to use uh, byte oriented stream class to get the input from which is already been stored into a binary file and then retrieve it and display it on the screen. Here, <coughs> you are going to uh, have steps same like the previous videos to read from an already existing binary file following steps as are to be followed. That means it should be already been existing. If the file is not existing, obviously you will get an exception error. Okay, step one, create a file input stream object and connect it to an existing binary file as follows. So, uh, previous video output to the binary file, we used file output stream. Here you are going to use file input stream. That is only difference here, remaining everything is same. So, uh, file input stream object name equal to new file input stream and the file name. Okay. So, example, you can see file input stream fin equal to new file input stream within uh, parenthesis within double quotes stu dot that which is already been created in the previous video. So, it should be available in the system. So, if it is not available, then you have to uh, create otherwise you will you will get exception. Now, step 2, now connect the file input stream object with the uh, data input uh, stream as per the following syntax. So, same like the uh, previous uh, video where you connected the file output stream object to data output, uh, data output stream. Here you are going to use input stream. Okay, So, you are going to create a data input stream object and then connect the file input stream object there. So, data input stream object name equal to new data output uh, input stream then file input stream object. For example, data input stream din equal to new data input stream fin. So, you are going to connect the file input stream. Now, step 3, uh, we previously we saw write command. Okay, Here you are going to see read command. You are going to read it from the binary file. So, now you can read the data from the data input stream object using any of the following read function. So, just replace the write function with read function otherwise everything is same. So, read byte Okay, which will read the byte value, read short will read the short value, read int will read the integer value, read long will read the long value, read uh, float will uh, read the float value, read double will uh, read the uh, double value if it, if it is stored in double, read char will uh, read the character value, read boolean will uh, read the uh, boolean value. Same like the uh, previous one, read the first word is in lower case and the second word first character uh, should be in caps and you, you should write it as a single word. You should not leave any space in between. So, read bytes and read chars and read UTF will all accept the string. That is read the string from the uh, input that is from the binary files. Now, UTF already we know Unicode transformed format. Okay. Now, uh, the input streams are automatically closed when end of file is reached. Okay. So, it is automatically closed once uh, you start reading it reads uh, word by word or uh, token by token it will there is no token here anyway uh, because you are not you're using scanner object right so it will read the text once it reaches the file it is automatically closed so it don't return anything so upon reaching end of file I, eof exception is thrown that is the exception end of file okay exception so the exception is error the exception means error is thrown and input file stream is automatically closed. So, you have to uh, be aware of that and you have to uh, try to catch that error and then uh, display a message. So, we will be discussing that. Checking for an uh, for a binary files end of uh, file condition is a tricky task because reading that is read does not return minus 1 or null. So, previously in text file it returns null. So, you automatically use while loop and check whether uh, it is a uh, equal to null that is the text is equal to null then you know that it is end of file you stopped it but here it does not return anything it does not return either minus 1 or null as in k in the case of the text files so it only throws file end of file exception that is eof exception and closes the input file stream so uh, you know that anyway you will get an error message right error will be thrown Okay, it is you know what error it is. It is end of file exception. So to check the end of file, you have to write the code like this. So you have to uh, declare a variable boolean variable and uh, use it as false. You can use a while loop 
and check whether it is not end of element. See, it is not uh, exclamatory mark indicates it is a not operator. That means not EOF. That is, that is, it is if it is true. Okay, that is the meaning. Okay, if it is true, then you do this. And you have to use try uh, whatever data you are going to enter uh, should have uh, should be within this try uh, method. The reason is there is a possibility of getting end of error here right end of file error it will be uh, when you read the data so here you have to use to be written the statement should be written under try okay and if there is an exception automatically it will uh, catch it that is it will throw it to the uh, catch exception you can see that uof exception e. e is nothing but an object exception object okay once you catch an exception here it will throw it here okay so this will just give a message and then you are going to set it as true so that means you won't have any problem when you execute the program it will work smoothly if you don't use this uh, try and catch you may get some exception obviously it says that it you will get exception right so you will get error and it will uh, stop you won't able to see the output okay that's the reason you are going to use uh, try and catch method now you can see the program okay so first you can uh, see import java dot uh, io okay so here you are going to use uh, java uh, input output package and also uh, you can uh, use java dot util dot scanner package also okay you can use both right it is uh, it is not that you should not use uh, scanner package but uh, if it, uh, if you are writing the program in notepad or anything and the uh, older version of jdk will not accept scanner classes because it is an advanced development uh, so if, since you are using BlueJ uh, this scanner package is included so you can al obviously use it the purpose of using it you can use it normally you can uh, get the values okay uh, from the file or for displaying <coughs> displaying the output on the screen you can use it right now public class uh, b input is the file class name and then uh, I have done something here static int uh, string file name equal to stu dot dat so normally in program we used to do the uh, function that is in the uh, object creation line itself we write the uh, file name so this is also can be done that's the reason i uh, uh, done this so this is also can be done you can store the file name into a variable string variable you make it as a static variable so it is visible to all the fun whatever function you're creating it will be visible to all so make it as a uh, class variable and you can store it. it it is obviously nothing but a string okay stu dot that with this uh, within double quotes it is considered a string you can store it into a uh, file name that is you are going to store it into a string variable now again uh, as uh, we do you are going to create a public static void main function with the line uh, throws io exception and then you are going to set eof equal to false so boolean eof so eof is also is a variable okay so it is a boolean variable and you are going to set it as false and next line you can see data input stream dw equal to new data input stream uh, new uh, within bracket new file input stream and then instead of file name i have given the uh, variable file name okay so you can do this or you can directly uh, type the stu dot dat itself next you are going to use a while loop and checking whether not eof right you are going to check whether it is true not false okay that's the meaning so if it is not false enter inside the loop uh, because you may not know how many data are been stored into the file whenever you read it you have obviously check for the end of file right either in text file or in the binary file you check for uh, end of file so it will be safer because you may add on to new data you may not know how many data you entered at the end okay so you better use end of file as, uh, that is the uh, safest way of getting all the data from the file right now inside this you are going to use try uh, method okay so this try method will have a, a curly braces where you are going to enter all the that is you are going to get the input from the uh, uh, file not from the user from the file so you are going to declare two variables uh, int roll number uh, float marks which has been declared inside the function right inside the function uh, that is inside the try, uh, try function itself okay and then you are going to uh, get the uh, first you are going to get the uh, roll number okay rno equal to dw dot read int so it is going to read from the file and store it into rno okay 
and then immediately you are going to display it on the screen. So then only you can go to the next data. So once the roll number is read uh, from the file, immediately you are going to display it on the terminal window. Same like that marks equal to dw dot read float, uh, which will read the next data that is uh, marks from the file and store it into marks. Next line immediately uh, you will have to display it on the screen. So this will happen till it reaches the end of file. So once it reaches the end of file, an exception will occur as per the uh, statement. You will get an exception. It don't return null, it don't return minus one, it returns an exception. Okay, error. So once it occurs, automatically this try method will uh, catch that and throw it into the uh, catch. Okay, so here try and catch method has to be used. So it will catch the end, uh, EOF exception. Okay, so to show the difference that you can use any object, I use EL right end of file uh, that is end of file exception now you are going to just display uh, system at printl and end of file this is a message you are going to display it on the screen and then uof equal to true you are going to convert it into true so that your program will not stop that means it will display it on the screen okay so hope you understood this video uh, we will meet you in the next video till then thank you